Hello guys, I welcome you to Vimes Projects Limited. We are with design and build classic homes. Yeah, we are here in Lagos State, Nigeria. We have one of our projects here in Bagada. We are doing a modification for a hospital project. So what we are currently doing today, we want to show you guys how we prepare our waste area for tiling. And before the tiling, we need to pressure test our plumbing connections. It is very important we pressure test these connections because without pressure testing them, you might think that all your connections or your plumber has really done a great job. You know, by the end of the day, you come back and see leakages everywhere. So to avoid all that, it is very okay for you to pressure test your connections so that you sleep with your two eyes closed. You know, when you pressure test them, it is very easy to you know know whether there are any defects or any weakness on your plumbing system. So it is very, very important for you to pressure test this thing. So we've come here today to show you guys the process and how we you know, go about it. So first thing first, we have a machine, we call it a pressure test pump. It's a pressure test pump. We use it. it's actually a manual pressure test pump. There are different types of pressure, you know, pumps. Well, the electric one, this is the manual type. There are still other types that we cannot actually use. But this is the one that we are using for today. I will be using this to pressure test all the, the wet areas in this uh, facility. So the first thing first is to make sure for any space we come in, we will lock off the control. We have a control that will lock up. Then all the valves, we use the cap, uh, the cap lock to lock all the valves that we have. So when they are all properly locked, we have a T-tap here for the hot line. We have a T-tap here for the cold line. So what we do is to, since we want to start with the hot line, we we'll connect this our hose of this uh, test pump to the hot line. When we connect it to the hot line, we have uh, two controls there and a regulator. So the first and the second uh, regulator, uh, the second control, what we do is to release it. If it is properly released, because that one is to release the water. So we will leave it the way it is and lock it up. So if it is properly locked, we open up the first control and then we can now start releasing the water. So in case you can release the water now, you can pump in the water. So as you know, the idea behind this whole thing is to make sure that we test the integrity of these pipes, the integrity and the strength. So this pressure, we are exercise pressure into this, you know, plumbing system. So if there are any leakages anywhere, you see, you see visible soap on the walls. As they are pumping this, as it's applying pressure on this, we'll keep on doing that until the desired. When if the water has traveled to all the connections, it will be very hard for it to. So you know, it has stopped the way it is. So the regulator, it will show on the regulator. So that particular level it is on the regulator, that is what you will see when you come back after 24 hours. If at the end of the day there are no leakages, you know, you will see that that same regulator will be at that same point. If there are leakages, or there are two ways. If there are leakages, the leakages might come from your cap locks. If they are not properly sealed, that is why we encourage you to use your traded tape to make sure they are properly sealed. So if they are properly sealed, then you don't have nothing to worry about. So the way we've pumped up this water now, if there are leakages here, if there are any weaknesses or any weakness from any of these uh, connections, you will see a visible soap on these walls. So we are going to leave this for about 24 hours. We'll be coming back tomorrow to check it. And at the end of the day, if there are leakages, we'll make sure we find it out and correct it before we can proceed with our pilot. So if we, in that way, we know we have achieved what we are supposed to achieve on this space. Then we know we can sleep with our two eyes closed. So if you have any questions, guys, you can throw it on the comment section. If you are not following us, you are on a long, 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 long thing. So thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys. Thank you.